Hey guys, welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting and Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkovic. Today we're going to talk about trailer setup again. I do one of these about every two years. And uh, it gives you guys a lot of ideas and things to set up. How to set up a trailer and how to organize things in there for dirt cheap prices. That's the key. And uh, I just got done doing some modifications for this year to my power washing trailer that I use. So if we're going to look in here, take a peek at this stuff and see what we got. Um... As you can see, lots of options in here with what we can do, but there are so many ways to set things up in here and make them dirt cheap in cost, okay, for you. And you can see that I'm maximizing my space in here tremendously. I have to. This is a full working trailer. I work out of this thing every day, and uh, I make it happen, and, and it's fantastic setup. But there's some simplicity things that we can do here, such as when it comes to setup in here, these little hangers. I make these myself, okay? These are pieces of angle that I will show you. Uh, matter of fact, I think I got, I do have some extras in here. So this comes as a square, as an angle piece, as a straight 90 degree angle. You can, I'll put a link to them below for you, but uh, you get them. And uh, what I did is I took that, I put it in my vise and I bent it so it kind of curled up. And then I put a piece of this uh, tubing on here. Okay, this hose tubing, which I'll put a link to that, whatever that is in there for you. Uh, to, I, I got some more in the garage. I'll find out what size it is. But uh, but then I just screw them anywhere I want to, and they make these perfect hooks. And uh, you get you know you get multiples of these. This basically costs you about a dollar a hook, I'm guessing, probably a dollar, maybe a dollar twenty five or something. But you can see I have them all over here. I got them there. These buckets are all hanging on them right there. I have another one hanging right there. I have them hanging there. I got them here. I got them here. I got them here. I got them here. I have those things everywhere. I got them right here. I have them there. I have one over here. Okay, I use those things religiously in here. Um, they work fantastic for all of my stuff, and they're big and wide. So you can see many of the stuff, I have multiple things hanging on them. You know, here I got two brushes, you know, or br two brushes hanging on there, hats hanging on there. I have all my hoses extra hoses hanging on there my guns up here my spare want lances all these pieces are all hanging from those things they hold a tremendous amount of weight and they work fantastic okay i did put up these shelves i'm honestly not super happy with them i wish they were a little higher in the front uh they work they're rock solid stable and durable i did put a shelf bracket under them which you can see here to help support that um, so that does help support them a little bit and they are good. They work. Um, so you got all your, my soaps and stuff like that up in here, a grease gun. Uh, one of the advantages of actually having a enclosed trailer for pressure washing is that when I'm on the job site and I got to go pee, I can come into the trailer and that's what that bucket is, is that's actually a pee bucket right there and nobody knows what I'm doing. So, uh, kind of an advantage here where if you have an open trailer, uh, you got to go in and ask to use a bathroom or something like that. I have that luxury right there. So having a pee bucket in your trailer is definitely a very handy thing to have. This is just an empty old, uh, you know, marine whatever jug, but I use that one as actually a pee bucket. Um, and then you can see here, I've hung these five gallon buckets. They are loaded with all kinds of gear that I need regularly, towels, everything in them. And uh, so I hang them there. When I first hung them, they just danced around. These little D rings here you get on Amazon, I'll put a link to them. They're very cheap um, and you get them by like a hundred pack and they don't have to go into a stud or nothing. I just screw them right in here with some short screws, but I put a bungee cord around here again i'll give links amazon bungee cords dirt cheap but now that keeps those buckets solid and right there stick my towels my safety glasses you know anything i need right on there but it's a very functional way um, to get that storage out of those buckets have the extra buckets in case i need them and have them so that they're not moving around at all so it's a fantastic way to go about it um, milk crates always a great option my hose reels, put those in here. I did not bolt those to the ground. Instead, you can see I have a ratchet strap there that goes through and on there, and that holds them pretty solid. They're not moving too much. Goes right down to those D-rings down there. And then I have a connector piece. You won't see it, but connected to one of these behind here, I have one of these industrial zip ties like this. Here are these things that I got that are incredible, these industrial zip ties. That's actually biting on it. You might see it under there. Uh, let's see here right there you can see it and that holds that tight to the wall so that hose reel is not moving that's a couple hundred pounds right here and that doesn't move at all um i did use a spare tire holder 
As you can see, bolts in right there, just screws in the back, keeps that tire right there stable and steady. Uh, these are because I stick other things, usually my rain gear behind there and stuff like that. Having these D-rings all over the place, which I put, lets me just put this one on here. I just tied it, so it's a broken old piece, but it keeps my tripods and all my stuff from moving around in there. But these D-rings here, like this, uh, you get them as a uh, multiple pack of them. I'll put a link to them below, but they just, you know, these ones you can see I'm putting them right into a stud. I use self-tappers and I sunk those right into that stud line. So these are very heavily rated and going right into the steel frame that's in there. So those are going to be, those are strong and capable to hold all my rigs and my gear and all my stuff in place here for me for moving. Um, when you're hanging hoses... Instead of trying to fit this big bulky hose on top of this, take again, piece of an old strap, tie it in a knot, just fold it over itself and hang it on there. Look how good that works. Now I don't have to try to give up all that space of this hook to have all that hose try and fight on there. It just works fantastic uh, to make your own little uh, strap, you know, hose holders like that. Works incredible. I can keep a bunch of little straps in here. Here, I needed a way to hang this thing right here. I just took an old S hook that was off of a bungee cord Put it on there and a piece of paracord. Holds that right there perfectly, just like that. Uh, I have a ton of these industrial zip ties that you can see here. Okay, I got them from my brother many years ago from a place that was closing them out, but they're, they're awesome. Let me pull one of these down to show you. Okay, and I don't even know where you can get them anymore. They're, uh, you know, that's probably uh, pushing... Two, three, almost three feet long, 30 inches long, and they are heavy duty um, and they're releasable. See, I can hit that button, so they're releasable. So I use these things, as you can see, for so many different things in here. But if you don't have access to these or can't find them, using something like this, you could also do this, have the same, accomplish the same goal basically. I'm just gonna stick this one up here for right now, but uh, you could accomplish the same goal with some. Uh, um sashing straps you know or any kind of strap you know would work just fine but you can see i use the ceilings in this thing all the time too i got my squeegee up here held together with these these simple quick release straps um right there i need these tapes to tape off electrical outlets all the time so i just again just hanging on a bungee real simple and easy functional right there for me my ladder that i don't use very often only time i really got to use this ladder is for when some of these overhangs are you get these weird predicaments where there's cameras mounted on a house and i can't reach them with my little ladder and i can't get my bigger ladders that are up here into that space so that's where this one comes in but i don't use it often enough that i just strap it right to the roof rails you know, I'm a short guy. This is a six foot height, little over, well, it's a little more than six foot in here. And uh, and for me, I'm only five, six, so I can walk right under this with no big deal. So for me, these work fantastic having this ladder here. It's not an issue for me, um, but I use that ceiling space a lot. Have another lance right here that I just, again, quick release straps, just hold it right there. Couple quick clamps that I use for all kinds of things. I got my big 20 something footer brush here that expands out. Again, those little things, but I'm using the ceiling space in here, okay? Taking advantage of that because it's up out of the way, then it gives me that space. So rather than having all this stuff hanging on the walls or down in the way, things of that nature. So it gives me that total freedom. And I have those tie down straps that you see down here. I have these, th I have like 10 of them all the way around. The whole entire trailer, they cover the whole perimeter of them behind there, back there. I have them everywhere on here, in between there, because that's where my hose reel is going. I knew that. Um, but I got them all around the perimeter, and I also have them, trying to zip my phone, there we go. I also have them going all around the perimeter, as you can see here, higher up. So they are set. You know, and again, not much. I don't have a lot of money. E-Track is a great thing. Don't get me wrong. I'll put links down below for E-Track. But these do exactly what I need, and they save me a tremendous amount of money. They're very, very affordable. And with self-trappers, to screw that into a stud right there, this takes me about a minute and a half to add one of these anywhere I want. Look here for where you got it so you know where the stud line is in there. Set that thing right there, and you're done. That's it. And now you have a hook there. So they're very easy to set up, very functional. Um, and I like that. I like the speed and functionality of it. The floor is deck over painted, which is nice because I'm dealing with chemicals all the time in here. Okay, corrosive chemicals. That's corrosive right there. And uh, having that ability to, I coated this whole entire floor. I caulked the edges. I, I, this is basically a waterproof bathtub that's in here coat, made with this deck over paint. It went through the entire year last year 
being used and this is what it looks like and used every single day. It looks amazing. I don't even, I'm not even redoing it this year. Probably next year I will. But this stuff has held up incredible. Um, I did it on a ramp too, but this stuff is just, it gives good traction in there. Waterproof, pretty indestructible. I'm super happy with what I've done to this floor. That deck over paint was very smart. Think about all the stuff I'm sliding in and out of here constantly rolling stuff in all that and there's i mean like i said if i were to wash this you know just wash it with soap and water to get the dirt out it would look brand new i mean you cannot complain about this flooring with that deck over paint that bare deck over uh is what i did and there's two coats on this two or three three i think i did three spots under uh underneath the hose reel because that's where most of the water is but for the most part it's two coats in here you know it was not much and it was not expensive and uh so it works fantastic Great little setup here in this trailer. Gives you a lot of freedom and flexibility. And again, I don't have in all the hangers and hooks and all that. I doubt I have. I doubt I have seventy five bucks invested in all of that. So not a lot of money for it. Uh, here, my wife bought me this for Christmas last year, so I mounted it in here. It keeps all of my spare parts. Uh, some of them not even used yet, but I keep all of my extra connection points. All of the stuff that I have to have, uh, X-Jet nozzles, you know, all, all of the things that I need access to are right in here. You know, sweet and easy and simple to get to. And I can see through them and see exactly what's in there so I know exactly what I need and where it is. I love this. Used to keep all that stuff in another bag and have it hanging here where I had to fish through everything. Now it's all neat. Even spark plugs, you know, for my pressure washers. Everything is here that I need. O-ring seals, all that stuff. Dental picks for popping things. You know, it's all here for me, real easy to access. My tool bag with all my tools and all the stuff I need in there to work on pressure washers, work on stuff, um, all right here, easy access to get to. So this is a highly productive uh, set up here. This trailer makes me a tremendous amount of money. It makes me an absolute tremendous amount of money. So uh, it's the efficiency is very important to me. And the way I have it set up is functional. All the t-shirts that are hanging here are not to be worn. These t-shirts are rags for me to anywhere I go to be able to wipe stuff off my hands. I got one there. I have one there. I have one right there. Okay, they're everywhere. Any time I'm in this trailer, anywhere I go, if I pour gas into this and I got gas on my hands, here's a shirt. Wipe it on the shirt. Everything here is functional and serving a purpose on this. Okay, there's that's the whole goal. Even my ladders on top. Okay. This one is part of a, this is about a 13 foot section of ladder, I think is what it is, height wise. It used to be part of one of these double expandable uh, telescoping ladders, but I, I took it apart because I use that one 99% of the time uh, to get used. It's just a perfect 13 foot ladder. Uh, it's ultra lightweight, but again, I took ratchet straps that you can see here. I took ratchet straps and I put them on there and then I cut them off, cut off the slack. And that's what I actually hold my ladders on with. You know, it takes me 30 seconds to get a ladder down. Now, it is a little high for a short guy up there on top of this trailer. But what I did is I, that's why this ladder is always right here in handy. I just pop this right here, and then I take this ladder, and uh, I just pull it out there, and I set it down, and I can reach up there and grab that stuff. Even my extensions for my, my ladder rack, when it came, I showed you that in another video, that actually went up like another foot higher to move those boards up a foot higher. I cut them down on my cutoff saw and rebolted those in so that they weren't so high. You can see the edge of that where I cut that off. If you look right, see how that's kind of jagged right there? That's because I cut off a foot of those because there was no reason for them to be up so high. Again, everything about this setup is designed for me for efficiency and speed and uh, function. And, uh, you know, it, it wears on you all day long. You go do four jobs in a day and you got to take this thing up to pull it down, move this stuff. To have those a foot higher, stupid. And wind resistance and gas mileage loss serves no purpose. So for me, I modified all that kind of stuff. So when you're setting your trailer up, set it up for peak efficiency in your design. Look and see if there's anything else over here I want to show you. Even with the locks, you know, people use locks. I, I don't lock mine. I just put these carabiners on there. When I close it, just keeps it so that it can't bounce open going down the road. Sweet, simple, effective, and easy, you know, and then it's there. And then that's why that yellow Oh, I didn't put it up there yet, but usually that yellow one is hanging right there, that yellow bungee cord. I use that on the super windy days because I'm in and out of here and this door is moving. Well, I will take this and I run from that carabiner. I just hook that bungee cord on that carabiner from there and I bring it right over here to that link of that chain and it keeps my door held open for me on a windy day. So it's not, my door is not constantly blowing back and forth. So 
efficiency for every aspect. I carry extra lights with me in there if I need to fix something. Point being, it's your trailer. Set it up however you want to. Hopefully, this gives you some great ideas on how to do it uh, and keep it used. But what you're looking at is a trailer that is used you know, hundreds of times a year. This trailer has actually been back and forth from Michigan to Georgia six times now. Six times this this thing has been fully loaded with clothes. We're moving. We're heading to Georgia. I mean, so, I mean, I'm down to bare bones stuff here. And um, But this has been fully loaded six times and been back and forth to Georgia. And uh, it is so functional, so capable, and uh, so, so maintenance-free. It's a single axle, does not have brakes on it. Um, it's, it's so easy. Grease the hubs. That's it. Um, you know, I mean, that's, that's all there is to it. But having that floor protected with that deck over paint, about 75 bucks or so worth of hanging accessories. Look at the functionality. I mean, this is a, this is an office for all practical purposes. And for somebody who will, I, I could not stand being in an office. I left the office. I left an engineering job 23 years ago because I hated that environment. Left it, was making tremendous money, walked away from it, started my photography business. And went from there, and now, like I said, I love, I just still do the photography. I love the pressure washing. But to me, this is an office. This is very important that this trailer is fully functional. And uh, so hopefully this gives you some ideas on how you can set things up for your own and make your trailer the way you need it to be to have that function and usability. Like I said, I even keep a grease gun in here, right here. Hey, got a grease gun in here because I, I drive this thing so much I have to grease my hubs regularly because, again, the amount of miles that I put on this thing. But all of my loose stuff and easy things and all that, everything fits somewhere in here strategically, functionally, and I know right where it is. I know exactly where every single thing is. Little tip for you. This is the best tool in the world. I'll put a link down below for it. But if you need to, if you clean your gutters regularly, this thing is amazing. You'll have to... Uh, Look it up because I'm not going to explain to you how. Well, you can extend this out six feet. You can use this to grab stuff in the gutters and drag it to you. And then when you hit a cross bolt or a nail that holds the gutters up, you use, flip it over and use this to push them under that nail. Then hook them with this and keep pulling them. You can drag, you know, so if you put your ladder up, you can cover 12 feet plus the three. You're there. You can cover like 16 feet of gutter with one ladder move with that tool. The thing's absolutely incredible, and it's only like 25 bucks or something. Awesome tool. So I'll put a link to I'll put a link to a lot of this stuff in the video description for you, um, so you'll see it all right there and, and have options. But wanted to basically show you this is some great ideas to set up your trailer for whatever purpose it is if you're snowmobiling or motorcycles or you're doing a lawn care business or whatever or just having it to move furniture hopefully you're getting some tips out of this on a cheap way to set it up that's effective and when i say cheap don't think for a second that one of these hooks that i was showing you don't think for a second that this is any worse than anything you could buy out there for 10 or 15 bucks. I'll put this up against anything out there. Again, every, you know, this, these are incredible. I didn't choose these to save money. I chose these because they're what I wanted and they're so functional and perfect. And they, nobody makes anything close enough to what I need. And these are that much better. So like I said, I, you know, I didn't pick this stuff to save money. I picked it because it's the most functional for me. I put these instead of E-Track because it's more functional for me. These are easy to put anywhere I want to with very minimal impact. Cheap, but they're so functional. Everything about this trailer is designed for pure function. So thanks for watching. There'll be some links below for you. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk to you later. All right, bye.